Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm going to read 1 John 5, 3 this, to, this morning, to, <laughs> to you this morning. Uh, it says, loving God means keeping his commandments, <clears throat> and his commandments are not burdensome. Uh, this morning, I'm thinking about Ann's dad, Mike Chesson, better known as Pop Pop. He went to be with Jesus November the 1st, 2017, so it's been six years ago now, but he left an indelible mark on his family. In addition to his creative revision of the English language, <laughs> Peliquin instead of Pelican, Shrivel chair instead of swivel chair, just as a few examples. It will be the subtle commands that I remember most. Um, these commands were always gently presented to no one in particular while peering into his empty tea glass. He would say, I sure wish I had some more tea, and someone would invariably jump up to get him some more tea. To his grandkids, I have a job for you. I'll give you a, a nickel. nickel. <laughs> to his kids and their spouses, it was always a little different. It was, I need your help with something. Uh, it was that last one that usually ended up putting me in hot water with Granny, like the time we dismantled her tea maker or when we blew up the yard, part of the yard trying to kill a groundhog. And the thing is, Pop Pop's requests, commands, weren't onerous, <clears throat> even if they were difficult at times. The reason? We all loved him. We would do anything for him. That's why the commands were not hard or burdensome. This is what the Holy Spirit is saying in this verse. The reason we find the commands of God intolerable is because our love for him has waned or it never existed in the first place. If we love him, his commands are not burdensome. Even if it's difficult, we will seek to do what he asks because we love him. Pray with me. Lord, I ask today that you would stoke the embers of our love for you so that it sparks into a roaring flame. Your commands, they are not burdensome because we love you. And if we're finding them burdensome or onerous or intolerable, at the very root, there must be something wrong with our relationship with you, our love for you. So, Lord, I pray that you would fan the flames of our love, knowing that that, in and of itself, will right much of what we are doing wrong. I pray this in Jesus' strong name. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.